in this episode, we're going to talk about lens mount replacement. It's a very simple technique. You remove the lens mount from your lens, and then you replace it with another lens mount, just like that. Well, actually, it's a little more complicated than that, but that, in a nutshell, is what we're talking about when we refer to lens mount replacement. Now, you're looking here at some of my favorite lenses that I've put new mounts on. This is one of my favorite ways to adapt lenses, and I use it frequently on my best and most expensive lenses. Here's a Zeiss ZF lens that I installed a new lens mount on. Here's a Leica, Leica R, one of my favorite lenses to install a new lens mount. Here's an Olympus Zuiko lens with the new lens mount. And finally, I really like to install new lens mounts on my Nikkor lenses. Here's an autofocus 105 DC Nikkor. Here's a Nikkor 50 millimeter f1.2 lens. And here's a couple of, of other Nikkor lenses that are fairly inexpensive. Nikkor lenses are another real good candidate for lens mount replacement. Now, why would a person want to replace the lens mount on a lens? Well, there are various reasons. First of all, lens mount replacements are semi-permanent. Unlike a dumb mount, a uh, dumb adapter rather, where you can lose it, a lens mount replacement is always in place. Secondly, lens mounts are higher quality than dumb adap adapter uh, mounts. So uh, if you have a choice between a uh, lens mount replacement and a dumb adapter, the lens mount replacement will usually be the better option. Number three, you get better image quality by replacing the lens mount than using a dumb lens mount adapter. For example, <clears throat> when you replace a lens mount, uh, you still only have two surfaces. Whereas when you install a uh, dumb lens mount adapter uh, onto the end of your, your lens, you now have four mount surfaces and that increases the 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 chances of of the uh, lens being askew and having uh, improper uh, uh, mounting parallelism number four uh, some uh, lens mount replacements have electrical contacts number five uh, it allows you um, to use certain specialty lenses that uh, are otherwise not available for your camera system. For example, here's a defocus control Nikkor 105 millimeter uh, F2 uh, DC lens. And this very specialized defocus control Nikon lens is only available in the Nikon mount. It has to be adapted, and uh, in, in my case, I uh, installed uh, a lens mount adapter so I could use it on my current non-Nikon camera. And finally, a benefit of using a lens mount replacement is that you can use your existing lenses on your new camera. For example, uh, I had uh, a few years ago a lot of Nikon F-mount lenses and I bought a Pentax K camera, and I wanted to be able to use my wonderful assortment of Nikon F lenses on my new Pentax K camera. And what I did was I, I installed a bunch of uh, lens mount uh, adapters, uh, lens mount replacements on my Nikkor lenses, and I was able to use them on my 
Pentax K lens. Now these lens mount replacement mounts are available in a number of, of different mounts. For example, if you have a Nikon camera, you can get a lens mount replacement for Leica lenses, contacts lenses, and Olympus Zuiko lenses. If you happen to have a Canon uh, camera, you can get uh, lens mount replacements for your uh, Leica lenses, Nikkor lenses, Olympus Zuiko lenses, contacts lenses, Zeiss CF, and Minolta lenses. If you have a Sony camera, uh, you can get lens mount replacements uh, for Leica lenses, contacts lenses, Nikkor lenses, and Zeiss ZF lenses. And finally, if you have a Pentax camera, you can use the following lenses with a lens mount replacement uh, on them. Leica, Nikon, Olympus, Contax, and Zeiss ZF. So as you can see, there are a lot of options. There are a lot of lens mount uh, replacements that you can purchase for all of these different kind of cameras. Now, who makes lens mount replacements? Well, you have basically a couple of options. The first option is a cheap, inexpensive lens mount replacement. Uh, you can buy them uh, as imports uh, from China or another company that makes these uh, lens mount replacements that are fairly inexpensive is called Pixco, P-I-X-C-O. Now, these Chinese and Pixco inexpensive mounts generally cost in the range of 20 to 30 dollars and uh, they they can work loose uh, if they come with screws the screws are low quality uh, they sometimes have burrs on the on the sensor that could uh, burrs on the on the mount rather that could fall on onto your uh, camera's sensor uh, also, the biggest problem is they often have a sloppy fit. Uh, frequently, they're too loose or they're too uh, uh, tight, and it's uh, difficult to either put your lens on your camera or remove it, and it can also uh, affect the focusing of your, of your uh, uh, lens. So uh, my policy when it comes to using these inexpensive uh, lens mount replacements um, I would only use them on one of my cheaper cameras. For example, uh, if I have a fifty to a hundred dollar camera, you know, I'm I'm going to probably uh, buy a lens mount replacement uh, that is, you know, twenty dollars or so. That's that's really uh, all I'm willing to spend in that type of case. Now, the other option you have is a more expensive lens mount replacement uh, and there's one company that makes them only one that i'm aware of it's a company called litex l-e-i-t-a-x and they're located in barcelona spain uh, their adapters are 80 to 90 uh, dollars and uh, the the owner and founder of the company is a, a spanish fella by the name of david yado and at my request uh david yado sent me an email that summarized the history of his company litex.com in the email he said Litex started more than 10 years ago as a personal project of mine so I could use a Leica R lenses on my own Pentax camera. Soon I understood that I needed a modern CNC shop to have good quality results. So I found a local machinist with the proper equipment to do the work. I ordered a small batch of my first Litex mounts and planned to sell the ones I didn't need on the internet. I design all of the Litex mounts, but they're not all my idea. Thanks to the feedback that I get from customers, many Litex mounts 
come from suggestions and questions that I receive from actual customers. So that's a summary of the Litex history directly from David Yado. Now, why would anyone want to spend more money to get a Litex lens mount replacement? Well, I can think of a number of reasons. First of all, with every Litex lens mount replacement you purchase, you get the proper screws, which are sometimes different than the screws that come with the original lens mount. And the screws you get from Litex are hardened, so they're not going to break or strip. You will receive an extra ball bearing that is used to control your aperture. Uh, these ball bearings will often uh, fall out accidentally when you're replacing the lens mount, and they're really handy to have. Uh, next, uh, you get detailed instructions on how to install the lens mount replacement on the Litex website. Uh, here are uh, a couple of examples from the Litex.com website uh, that that show detailed installation instructions uh, on, on a particular uh, lens mount replacement. Now here's um, a uh, screenshot from the litex.com website showing the instructions for installing a litex lens mount replacement on a uh, Zeiss Milvis lens. Uh, I was the one who who kind of pioneered this process and may have been one of the first people in the world to install a Litex uh, adapter on a Zeiss Milvis lens and I wrote up these instructions uh, for uh, David Yado. Uh, the adapters that you receive from Litex are of the highest quality uh, I find that they're actually better quality than the OEM uh, lens mounts that, that come from a l premium lens directly from the lens maker. Uh, there are many options and accessories that you can purchase uh, from Litex. Uh, uh, the Litex adapters have the best fit. I've never found one that uh, didn't fit perfectly uh, on my camera. Uh, which is very important. Uh, Litex is available to answer any of your questions. Uh, from my experience, uh, whenever I send an email to Litex, I get a prompt response, usually within 24 hours from David Yado himself. And finally, if you think it's just a little bit uh, too complicated for you to install the, the Litex adapter uh, yourself. You can send your lens into uh, David Yado in Spain, and he will personally install the Litex lens mount replacement on your lens for a small fee. So those are what I feel to be some of the major advantages of spending a little bit extra money and getting a better uh, adapter from Litex. Well, there you have it. Uh, a brief summary of lens mount replacements and a review of the different types of mounts that are uh, available to you, uh, and uh, we've had uh, a brief discussion on the two options you have uh, in uh, adapters. One, uh, the cheap ones from China and Pixco, and number two, uh, the better ones from Litex in Spain. And I guess my feeling is, as you can imagine, for my better lenses, I think it's well worth the extra money to get an original Litex lens mount replacement from David Yado in Barcelona, Spain.